Those who had bravely signed could proudly declare they had made a difference. Do you want a sticker? I'm bro life or I saved a blood today. Their habitat's being encroached upon. By who? Well, Jeremy Lin, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I hear you. All right, white chicks, no need to panic. We need a different strategy. It, just tell me you're trying to save the black rhino. We're trying to put the black rhinoceros on the endangered species list. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll sign. So do you want to get out of here and go for a walk or something? Yeah. OK, yeah. Oh, if you go back to Mike's place, make sure you tiptoe, because his mom's a super light sleeper. OK, so I have assembled a team of expert ladies. I want to see how the man interacts with the dog. OK, that's important. His nurturing side, yeah. his playful side. Yeah, looks sissy. That makes him more masculine, right? Small dog, small penis. Oh, this guy's a scumbag. I like it. I want more, yeah. right? That dog doesn't make him look like that a scumbag. It does not? OK. Makes him look like a sweetheart. So my family's looking for beef that's all natural and hormone free. That's me, all natural. Because I don't want hormones in my kids. That would be bad. Are you taking growth hormones? That's ridiculous. Because there's a needle in your hunch. That's not mine. I'm just a commuter. It's just a podcast. It's this American life. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're safe. Good. Come on. Man. Come on, train. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just a regular unemployed guy reading a book. You scared it away. I just have this vision of all of us when we're old and out on the back porch and we're still best friends and we're reminiscing about the past and next door our children are just going to town on each other's genitals. Oh. Mitt Romney is not autistic. What? I mean, of course he is. We just don't mention it to be polite. Mitt Romney is not autistic. He's just a little robotic and seems to lack some human compassion and has trouble connecting with people on an emotional level. Oh my God, Mitt Romney is autistic. See, we're making history. This is inspiring. He'll show autistic kids everywhere that there's nothing they can't achieve. Guys, no. Mitt Romney is obviously not autistic. Look at the debates. He was very natural and sociable then. Only after weeks of practicing how to talk, make jokes, and sit on a stool. Come on, autistic people don't run for president. They spend their time obsessing over inanimate objects. <gasps> Whoa, that is an offensive generalization. I'd expect more from you, especially as a Romney supporter. Where am I? The planet of the pantaloons. I mean, I can accept that you use a different word for pants here. I just didn't think that you would use it that much. What's pants? It's what they call pantaloons on his planet. Oh, well, it is so nice having a real astronaut here at our table. You know, I used to want to be an astronaut until Claire's father convinced me to take a job at the store. I guess we know who wears the pantaloons in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs>